When we use a camera to see an object in a perspective view, we have the option of viewing the scene in an uncropped view, which shows the surroundings extending to infinity, or we can use a cropped view with a marquee frame around a limited view of that scene. E each of these settings has unique character and use, so let's take a look at that for a minute. First, let's place a camera in the scene and take a look at the view. This is an uncropped view, which means there's no frame around the scene, and we can look into the distance and all around the model all the way to the edge of the Vectorworks window, and there's nothing to impede our view all the way around. When we use the pan tool and move around the drawing, notice that what moves is the viewing position in relation to the object. It's not the drawing that moves around, it's the viewpoint, as if we are inside the scene and moving around the object. We can see this when we zoom in and out also. And regardless of the cursor's position, we can see everything in the scene all the way to the edge of the Vectorworks window. And now let's take a look at a cropped perspective view. We'll go to the document preferences and select the cropped perspective checkbox. And now we see a frame around the scene. If we pan around the drawing or zoom in and out, we can see that this time the viewpoint changes in relation to the crop frame and not to the object. So we're no longer located inside the scene when we use these tools. Instead, we're looking at the scene as if it's an image. And when we zoom in and out, we're getting closer and further from the image or from the frame and not from the object in the scene. Now, just keep in mind that the fact that there is a cropped frame around the view does not keep you from using the flyover, walk through, translate view and rotate view tools in the visualization tool set. You can still use all those tools. The only thing is that the changes to the view will occur completely within the boundaries of the crop frame. We can change the proportions of the crop frame by pulling on one of these handles in the corners of the crop frame. But if we want to be precise, we can adjust the camera settings directly and those control the proportions of the crop frame. So Let's go directly to the visualization palette and then right click on the camera and we select edit. And now in the properties dialog box, we go to aspect ratio and select one of the formats. I'll just quickly activate and then deactivate the camera. We can see the result immediately. Why would we use one of these modes and not the other one? The uncropped perspective is very useful when we're working on a model because it shows the entire model with all its parts, even the ones that are close or further away, and we're not restricted to a limited frame of view that might obscure a portion of the model. So the cropped perspective is very helpful when planning a layout for presentation, though, because it shows a rendered frame in specific proportions that we can keep consistent from one image to the next, just as we would use in a presentation. Keep in mind that the proportions of the cropped frame can be determined by the camera. So once we have set a camera in the way we prefer with the right focal length, let's say, and crop ratio, we can make a symbol of that camera to help save the settings for us to use in other cameras. And when we want to add a new camera, all we need to do is just drag and drop the symbol into the scene and the settings of the new camera will be identical to those of the first camera which we made into a symbol.